Hello everyone. So yesterday we worked on the system which allows the character to move along the wall like this. But now I wanted to implement how the character would uh, move when the character enter this wall from the other side. For that, instead of uh, keeping the back on the wall, I wanted to implement a system which the character hugs the wall but for that I don't have an animation so I'm just gonna show you how to create a simple animation inside Unreal for wall hugging so this may not be the perfect animation that you can create but I just need something to prototype the mechanism that I'm working on so for that purpose this should be good enough so the first thing you should do is when you want to create an animation here we you should have the third person character added to the project because with that we have this under rigs cr mannequin body you need that so if you have another character with this control rig you can use that too but i'm gonna use this one because this is the character that i am using so once you drag and drop that control rig you automatically get the sequencer window and a sequence is added to the level and you can see these additional tabs anime anime outliner and animation okay so now uh, as i said what i want to do is a wall hugging animation let me first put this character oh sorry the character into the zero zero location so that's easier okay now to implement wall hugging as a reference I'll add a cube So that we have a wall to reference. Let's make it dict here. Seventy. Okay, that should be close enough. Okay, now this is our wall. And let's say I want the character to move to the left hand side now if i go to which view i think this is forward let's go left yeah now i think we are seeing the character from back so i want the character to move this way so here uh, currently the snapping grid is snapping is set to 10 so that's why we see these smaller boxes let me increase it to 50 um, maybe not yeah, I'll keep 10 that should be easier now for one step let's say the character moves these squares let's say four squares so first in the transform I'll add a keyframe here and then I'll move oh sorry not the box I need to move the character wait we should move there by the end and also let's say I don't want that much length let's say only one second is this in seconds yeah it's in seconds okay so one step is only one second let me place the this here and move it this way wait did i go to the end no okay oh i was at the end okay and add another keyframe so here is the moment of the character 
Now as the next test step, let me fix the hands. So if I go to perspective mode, so I want the character to hold the hands on the wall and perhaps rotate the head a bit this way so that we know the direction the character is going. Add a keyframe here and here. It is okay and for the hand so I if I move them you see it's uh, forward kinematic mode at the moment so I'll enable inverse kinematic so it moves in a realistic way so for that here we have switches this is arm right so arm R F K I K switch here I'll enable that so now you can see this we have a different type of a control and now you can see it moves in a realistic way with inverse kinematics so let me switch to world space and place hand like this and rotate Okay, looks good enough. I only want to demonstrate so I will not spend much time getting it right. So for the left hand also, um, L, wait, we need to add a keyframe here first. Oh, I will lose that. Here. And here. Okay. Now for the arm left, enable IK mode and just like before. So since the character is moving this way, I'll keep the hand like this. Okay, that should be good enough. Add a keyframe and a keyframe from the wrong one all right okay now let's work on the left foot and first left foot so initially select the left foot box here and here it's already enabled as you can see fkik switch is enabled to ik and then select here Add a keyframe here and go to the end add a keyframe here now at the end the left foot should be here and first we move the left foot then we take the right foot that's the way I'm planning this animation so therefore by the middle of this animation the left foot should be where it has to be by the end of animation that means in here it should be here already and add a keyframe so see uh, there is a bit of a spring effect but i'm gonna ignore that for now and also you see the lift is uh, the foot is a bit above ground that's because in this position character simply can't put the foot on the ground without stretching so to fix that we can do something like this select this uh, body control add a keyframe here and add a keyframe at the end in here move it a little bit like this until the character can place the left foot properly on the ground okay so now you see the left foot moves correctly and in the middle 
let's say somewhere over here I'll lift the left foot a little bit and add a keyframe now we we'll see we place the uh, lift the left foot and place it maybe we move it uh, too much oh, that's fine and then right foot initially it's here at the end it's here select the right foot so add a keyframe here and add a keyframe in the beginning and until in the middle the right foot should not move so here I'll move it back and add a key and now you see here the right foot is above the ground so to fix that let's move this up uh, down a little bit and refresh the keyframe okay now it looks fine but you see the right foot is dragging on the ground so maybe in the middle let's move it up a little bit but not uh, maybe not that much let's move half of the size and add a key okay now if i go to perspective mode and here we have a simple animation not perfect but enough for us to test now how do we export this here right click on the animation not animation right click on here and big animation sequence I'll choose anim sk mannequin I'll call it wall hug left and we get animation export options I'll keep the default settings and export now you got the animation here so here you see there is no movement in the character it's only the animation part which is a good thing because uh, we usually need to handle the movement from the moment component of the character I was not planning to use root moment here root motion here if I want to have if I wanted to have root motion I should have moved the character with the root bone so yeah this is good enough for me to use in my wall hugging moment system that I'm going to work on in the next episode and thanks for watching as always I'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of all the projects that I have worked on my channel from the veteran page and link would be in the description below feel free to check it out that would help me to continue what I do in my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode goodbye